What's going on? Uh, I'm Megan Holiday. It is our DTS Sound Space Sundays, and today I am joined by the very beautiful and talented Ryan Santiago of Royal and the Serpent. How are you doing, babe? I'm so good. How are you doing? I'm doing good, too. So before you and I get to know each other a little bit better, and I'm so excited to talk to you, uh, we are actually going to throw it to your very awesome performance. Thank you so much for doing that. So let's jump into that. Sounds good.
such a fun performance and thank you so much for you know doing that just for us we appreciate you so much and uh again it's me megan holiday with royal and the serpent so i just want to read some stats to you really quick okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, 70 million global streams 4 million <laughs> tiktoks created and top five on alternative radio and i'm talking about your single overwhelmed how does that feel the top five like gets me still I can't I mean the rest too but that's new um that's new yeah it's crazy it's crazy it's so exciting and you know what I feel like two very important things have to come together uh for a song to really take off in the way that overwhelmed it and I think it's first of all writing a really good song and secondly timing you know and yeah. you wrote this song actually you know over two years ago what do you think about it right now being out in the world? What do you think it is that people are just connecting with so much? Yeah, I mean, I think Divine Timing had it come out at the perfect time for everybody when they needed it. This year has been, I think, overwhelming for most people in every way that it could have been. So uh, I'm so happy that it got to reach people when they needed it most. Isn't it so crazy that when you wrote it, it was, you know, pre COVID times and you were overwhelmed with the stresses and worries and the way that we were living wasn't really <laughs> working either necessarily. And now it's like the complete opposite, but it's like, we're just feeling overwhelmed in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, and I really appreciate in your music that you were so open and honest about your mental health and anxiety, because I really feel like it helps people and it, 
you know, they can connect with that and it takes the power out of it in a way. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know that I feel better knowing that other people go through the same things as me. So I could only imagine like having an anthem for the ways that we feel is like so important. Um, and I think we all have those songs that like mean something like that to us, but yeah, it's wild. It's uh, yeah, it's super exciting and it's empowering and, you know, I'm just, I'm so excited for you. So just, you know, Thank a you. little bit of um, your background and I know that you grew up in New Jersey mm -hmm. uh, and I know that you also grew up next door to another artist named Donna Missall, who I absolutely love. Mm -hmm got those, Jan uh, you know, Janis Joplin vibes and everything. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe just a little bit about growing up in New Jersey and maybe that moment that you knew that music was your calling. Totally. Um, I grew up around so many singers. I can't believe I didn't realize how abnormal it was for all of my best closest friends to sing. So we would just walk around the neighborhoods beating on drums and playing our guitars and playing music for everybody at such a young age um, that it was just always something that was a part of me that I never really thought about pursuing as a career until I moved out to LA and met my manager actually, who's still my manager to this day. But we were just friends at the time and he heard me sing. I like had this closeted talent. I would write songs in my bedroom for nobody to hear for so many years. Um, and we were bartending at the same bar. He heard me sing a song. He didn't believe I wrote it. We were writing down goals and composition notebooks by the next Monday. And then uh, he's, you know, still my manager today. And we've been building this whole thing together the whole time. That's so beautiful. Isn't, yeah. it, isn't it crazy how it can just take one person saying one sentence to you and then all of a sudden you just it's just like opens everything up for you totally yeah I, uh, sometimes you just need to hear it a different way I think too people can tell you, you're like my parents could have told me my whole life you're great and I would have never believed them though somebody else was like let's do something with this yeah totally and you know so you said that you you know wrote down a bunch of goals and intentions and stuff like that um do you, have you been thinking at all about, I mean, I know it's so hard right now and I'm sure you just can't wait till you get to be out there, you know, out on the road, uh, doing your thing again, but have you, uh, thought at all about intentions, uh, for the setting intentions for this new year? Absolutely. Every year before the year starts, um, I get together with like some of my closest collaborators and we write down goals for the following year. I have not really thought about any specifically for next year because it all feels so unknown um but I do know that ones that I was looking back at my goals from last year and so many of them came true even in ways that maybe would have been unconventional like I played my first festival even though it was virtual and I toured Europe even though it was virtual and all of these things I wanted to do this year I still accomplished in a way so I just I, all I can hope is to put out good music that people love and, and give it to them. I don't know. Yeah. And you're, well, you're doing that, you know, you're on, you're on the path. And since you bring Thanks. up, you know, the, the virtual uh, world tour, I know that you did that with uh, another artist that I love. I love Dom of young blood. I yeah. mean, such an, a passionate and, you know, just contagious uh, human being. So um, totally. tell us a little bit about what it was like to do these virtual festivals and how you really executed this. Yeah, Dom is such an inspiration and he's been like on my goals list of artists to tour with forever. He's incredible. Uh, the experience was so positive. Uh, I got to shoot all of the shows here in LA and the feedback that we got and the new fans that I've gotten to meet and connect with has just been unbelievably incredible even in times like this i've been able to host zoom parties and meet them face to face um and they just bring so much joy into my life they make me so happy it's been really cool that's so awesome i mean obviously it's not what you had planned and you, you know but yeah. it's the, the really cool thing about us is that we have the power of being able to connect on the internet now and yeah be able to do things virtually and no, it's not the same, but at least it's something. And in a way, maybe you're able to reach even more people during this time. That's just going to set you up for the rest of your career. I hope so. I do believe I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. So I'm just trying to ride the wave, you know? 
Yeah, absolutely. So your EP is called Get a Grip, which is mm -hmm. <laughs> so perfectly uh, titled. I just felt like you were channeling uh, information through before. You didn't even know COVID was coming, but somewhere in there, you might mm -hmm. have. Um, I yeah. really love the stripped down version of Overwhelmed as well. Thank you. So beautiful. Um, is So just, I don't know, right now, have you been writing, uh, creating? I know it's kind of a weird time. Yeah. I have a lot of music that I'm really excited to release next year. We're finishing up um, quite a few songs that I'll be able to share in the beginning of the year that I'm so, so excited about. So, yeah, we've got lots coming. Awesome. Well, yeah. I'm just so very excited for you. And um, you're yeah. someone that I've been wanting to talk to, you know, because I did. I read that story about you and your manager, you know, when, it, when you first kind of came onto my radar. And I was like, this is such a inspiring story and just oh my gosh. Uh, really nice to get to find out more about you. So uh, I'm Megan yeah. Holiday, and it's been so fun getting to chat with Ryan of Royal and the Serpent. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you. And we can't wait to actually get to see you on stage because I know you're a shredder of a live performer. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I'm honored to be here. That was so much fun. Thank you for locking in with me, Megan Holiday, and joining us for another one of our DTS Sound Space Sundays. We hope you will join us again the first Sunday of every month. Stay safe. Uh, Happy New Year. I love you so much. And I'll see you on the next one.